Good morning, guys. Uh, I'll get to the point right away. I'm retiring for good. Welcome, everybody, to Vegas Nation. It's fast takes and smart coverage time with Heidi Fang here and Vinny Bonsignor, our Raiders beat writer. Vinny, obviously, some big news dropped today with Tom Brady saying he is retired for good. But what does this mean for the Raiders who are in search of a quarterback with number 12 having seemed to been the easiest, well, not easiest option, but the most likely option for the team early on? Well, make no mistake, uh, Tom Brady was definitely at the top of their wish list uh, to replace Derek Carr as uh, their quarterback in 2023. But by no means uh, did they have all their eggs in the uh, in the Brady basket. They always knew that any path uh, that led them to Tom Brady had some potholes. The logistics of potentially having to move his family from the East Coast to the West Coast. There were other teams that were going to be involved as well that were going to be interested in Tom Brady. And let's not forget. He's 45 years old, so there was always the very real possibility that he just woke up one morning like he did on Wednesday and said, you know what, I'm going to retire. So they always knew that there was the possibility that he wasn't going to be here uh, with the Raiders. So it wasn't like uh, they were caught off guard um, or, you know, that there's any panic now uh, in, in, in trying to figure out where they go at quarterback. There was always uh, the the, the uh, belief or understanding that even if they did bring Tom Brady in, they were always going to have to address their long, long range quarterback needs because he at best he was going to be here one maybe two years so they always had to plan for the long range quarterback and that certainly doesn't change what does change is that Brady is no longer an option to be their quarterback in 2023 but uh, they'll they'll pivot from here and uh, you know move on down their list on on, on what they uh, want to do in terms of the quarterback. Well, who would be next on that list? I mean, there's kind of an obvious target on this team with Devontae Adams still there and having come from Green Bay. Is Aaron Rodgers an option? He's an option, uh, but, um, you know, look, he's he's owed $60 million for, for 2023. That's a lot of money uh, to, to pay a quarterback. And it's not so much the money itself. It's what it means in terms of your budget. That's $60 million in cash that they're going to have to pay uh, Aaron Rodgers and that means now they may not have uh, the same amount of money under the budget to be able to go address offensive line or the defense so it's a it's a pretty big bite of their salary cap apple that they would be giving to one player I don't necessarily think that that's something that the Raiders are uh, super keen on doing they'll look into it uh, without question uh, but without a Tom Brady and, and let's just push uh, Aaron Rodgers uh, off to the sideline a little bit there's a very real possibility that they roll with a rookie uh, or maybe they bring in a rookie uh, and, and, and uh, bring back Jared Stidham to be, you know, the uh, quarterback in 2023 kind of mentor uh, to the young quarterback. And also in, in that scenario, have a whole lot of money uh, left in the budget to be able to go address offensive line and defense, which has long uh, been uh, overlooked uh, here with the Raiders for so long with that with that defense combination of missing on so many draft picks and bad decision makings and trades and free agency. It's high time that the Raiders really truly addressed their defense, not having to pay a quarterback $60 million or even $35 million or $40 million uh, could help, uh, you know, uh, in terms of expediting the process of, of rebuilding that defense. So understand this, there's the very real possibility that a rookie might be starting at quarterback for the Raiders or Jared Sidham. And these are all things that the Raiders considered when they made the decision to move on uh, from Derek Carr. It wasn't so much moving on from Derek Carr to go replace him with Tom Brady. It was moving on from Derek Carr in order to get better at quarterback uh, over the long range. And that might not be that in 2023, that quarterback plays better than Derek Carr, but the hope for the Raiders is that long range, uh, they're, whoever they bring in at quarterback in 2023, whether it's the rookie who's gonna sit and watch Derek sit him, eventually they're gonna have a better quarterback than Derek Carr on this roster. Well, there you have it from Vinny Bonsignor, our Raiders beat writer. Give him a follow at Vinny Bonsignor. I'm at Heidi Fang. Of course, the big news today, Tom Brady retired. What does that mean for the Raiders? We have all that here on this video, as well as checking out some of the other content that we do with the podcasts and whatnot. And of course, everything always up on VegasNation.com throughout the offseason. Keep up with all of that to find out what is going on with the silver and black. For Vinny Bonsignor, I'm Heidi Fang. Thank you so much for watching.